definitely just a blessing to be able to play with COVID um, for me personally, like working through injuries and just coming back um, stronger from that. Yeah, I would just say really cool to be able to even do this in the spring um, and have a spring like this, like we've never had before. And so to just like take advantage of that and um, the opportunity that it is, it's very, very awesome. It's so amazing. Um, it's kind of weird though, because we, you know, went so long without, you know, being able to actually play a match. And I don't know, that feeling that you get when you're on the court, that rush is just unmatched. Like, I'm so happy to be back on the court with Hannah, Kara, everybody else. Like, it's just awesome. And I'm so grateful that we have an opportunity to play because there are some schools who don't get that opportunity. And I feel like God has blessed us with that. And why not go out there and play for them and just enjoy the moment? So it's been so amazing for all of us, honestly. We, we want to, you know, have a ministry, live a legacy, uh, you know, so making history is not the pinnacle of what we're trying to do, but definitely, you, you know, want to make them aware that, you know, we all know life is short, but, you know, for like a Han and Yossi, it's like, man, I, I just got here and I, I like bringing it up like, hey, yeah, it's, it's just so you guys know, this will be the last chance you have to win at, at Texas, you know, and so uh, just the opportunity to play Division One volleyball. Uh, isn't a given and can be very rare and, and short. You know, we, we think of a Sydney Sacra who helped us freshman year, but um, her knees wouldn't let her let her go any any farther. And you know, she got a few games under her belt, and that that's uh, her her career. So, um, you know, I do. I want them just take take advantage of the opportunity. Like we, we never and whatever those opportunities are, just not. Um, you know, show up and let it happen, but but kind of bring your own intensity to it and say, hey, here's here's what I can do. And, and you know, at the end of the day, hey, I, I did the best I could. Um, you know, then we're then we're successful. But yeah, I, I want to talk about it. And if it adds pressure, great. We want want to thrive under that pressure. And uh, to me, it makes it more special. Like uh, I think I'd get bored trying to do the same thing over and over and over again. So. Uh, you know, we're always trying to do more and do, do something better. I mean, every game is important to us. So this is just another game to us, but we know that this game just carries a lot of um, just like opportunity for us, like the opportunities presented to us. And so um, we want to go take it. We want to go um, just like attack there. Um, and yeah, it's definitely on our minds that like we want to, we would love to beat Texas at Texas and they're just, they're such a good team. So fun to play. Mm -hmm. um, just like great competition. And so we love to compete. And so it's just another opportunity to do that at a high level, which is really, yeah, it's awesome. Oh, I'm excited. Honestly. Um, it's great to just go back to the gym. Are we playing in Gregory? Oh, we're playing in the big. Okay. But it's just amazing to just go there and play and just have that, caliber of team um you know challenge us in new ways and excited to see what we've learned from this past weekend and from the past two meetings there that stung but I feel like we can arrive this um upcoming Wednesday you know Yasi in those losses were probably a couple of the most of all of her career some of the spectacular uh plays that she's made it, it's you know yeah, it's it's a team game, and and players can carry you and carry the load. But uh, we definitely to to go deep in the tournament, you got to have production and in good production in other areas. You know, uh, <clears throat> previous year, you know, Shelly was very reliable in the middle. Yasi was doing good. Uh, you know, but in the run, like Gia and, and Mariko were were really. Um, playing their best volleyball at that time too so that's that's kind of you know fall was a, a rocky start um, we, we saw great great things from Lauren Harrison and you know I think Kara and then adding Presley to the mix right now uh, you know we have all the pieces in place uh, we just we just gotta get them get everybody battle tested a little bit more uh, in, in those type of matches you know those are the ones that we didn't get in the preseason 
you know, the year before we got to go to Nebraska and play UCLA and Creighton and Marquette, Wisconsin, and, and uh, you know, played a great Hawaii team and a ranked Missouri and a Tennessee team that was coming right up. So you had, gosh, we had like seven or eight <clears throat> great battle tests before even going through conference, you know. So what this group has is conference, which I would say great battle tests in our matches with Texas. Um, we had some good Big 12 tests, but a lot of that was us just uh, not being as efficient. So, you know, Pepperdine was a good test and just, you know, shows a lot of the areas we still need to improve upon. You know, Texas will do that and, you know, we'll see what the rest of the schedule looks like. But that that's my concern. So, you know, can we create that within practice and, and hopefully this schedule is going to do it. But uh, definitely Texas will bring that for sure.